I've been scared to grill a whole fish for years. And the day I found out how easy it was, my whole world changed. And today, yours can too. Yours can too if you just do this. Hi, if you haven't hit subscribe, we'd love you to do it. It's completely free and shows that you like us. And you know we like you because we work damn hard to put out three videos every week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, for you. High quality, beautifully shot, amazingly edited, and my nonsense, helping you learn how to cook. That's why we're here today. It's a whole fish and you think it's a pain in the ass and it's not a pain in the ass and you don't need a special piece of equipment to turn the whole thing. No special equipment for that. I'm going to teach you two little tricks that'll help you keep it from sticking and make the whole thing work perfectly and it'll be great. So here's what we're going to do. Let's prep the fish. We make a little business deal for the top of it and, and then, then we're grilling. There we are. Oh, I liked them better when they were side by side. Two beautiful little Branzino. They're little bass. And these are pretty ones. Listen, here's a couple things you need to know when you go to buy fish. You want the eyes to be clear, not cloudy. You want the flesh to be firm when you touch it. Most importantly, smell. If it smells fishy, you don't want it. I know that's counterintuitive. Sam, it's a fish. It comes out of the ocean. It should smell fishy. No, it shouldn't smell fishy. It should smell like just like the ocean, maybe. That's it. Natural. It's beautiful. So here's what we're going to do. The flies are going to like this now. And to help get the skin crispy, we want to start with a dry skin. So turn them. Give them a good wipe down. I'm going to take the little gills off because to me, they're just going to burn and I don't want that. Aren't those the... Little fins? Fins. Yeah, those are fins. Sorry. <laughs> I'll take the fins off because I just don't want them and they'll burn and, you know. I will leave the tail though because. Can you mentioned the chimney back there. Do you hear the. Uh, oh, they can hear it, I'm sure. Oh, they can. There's the chimney. It's got charcoal in it and we're going to cook this over charcoal because you should. All right. We want to deal with the inside first. Now, these have been cleaned by the uh, fishmonger. Sorry. Forgot about these guys. Cleaned by the fishmonger. Here's what we want to do inside, we're going to put a little of our BFF. Salt, pepper, garlic powder. All beautifully mixed for you. A little bit here, nice. Okay, a little shot of olive oil in there, like that. Next up, we're gonna stuff these. So let's get that. We have some green onion, beautiful ones by the way. We have some cilantro, we have some lemon. Before we cut the lemon, we need to get the zest off because once you cut it, it's a pain. And fortunately, I bought a brand new microplane zester because mine got dull. So let's get some zest off. Look at how oh, this is how it's supposed to work. Boy, were we struggling the other day. And this zest is going to come in very handy for what goes over the top of this. The flies are really right getting annoying. That's Max with what's essentially our airsoft bug killing machine. Okay, that's good. So let me just cut this. And seeds I don't really give a shit about. We'll cut like this. I only want halves. It's just not deep enough. So let's lay some halves in here like this. Beautiful. Both sides. This is going to perfume the inside beautifully. All right. Now let me get rid of the lemons. Get some cilantro. Cilantro stems fine. We'll just cram inside our little guy. Side two. Listen, you don't need to be freaked out about this. Cooking fish fillets is lovely. It's a cute thing to do. I do it a lot, but this, this is the way to go. It's much more exciting. Just cut these guys down the middle and then some of this business. We have one more use for these dark green tops in a couple minutes. I'll show you that. So this goes in. Now, is it going to stick, stay in perfectly? No, and that's fine. So just shut the door on your bud. And there's one guy done. And then this guy gets this business. I'm telling you, it smells good already. Okay, so let me give this a little wipe and I'll show you what's next. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take our guy like this. We're going to put some diagonal slices down to the bone. You'll feel it. You can't do it all the way up here, but you'll be fine, right? Then just turn your kit over and do the same on this side. And this is going to do one thing. It's just going to let the seasoning and some flavors get inside so much better. So we're going to go with kosher salt on this side, on this side. Do the other one. And then there's one more thing to do. Now, you don't want this sticking. So you could easily put a bunch of oil on it, but I have a preferred way. It's a little bowl. It's a little Japanese mayo. And an optional move you don't have to is just a little soy paste. We know how this enhances everything. So we'll mix that. You know what? While we're here, let's give it a little squeeze of garlic like that. If that was fresh garlic, I would worry it would burn. But because it's a paste, it's going to be fine. And on we brush and try and get in the slices. You'll be better off for it. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, 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 sorry. You don't think he likes being covered in mayo? I don't think he does. I'm not 100% sure. I don't want to, you know, talk on his behalf, but I think there's a good chance. I wouldn't mind a mayo bath. <laughs> a QP mayo bath might be okay. All right, and we do the other one. And when you're good, we're ready to go to the grill. When your coals are white hot, they're ready to go in. So out they come of the chimney and we dump. Beautiful. We set this down. We put our top rack on. 
close up shop, put our centerpiece in, and that's where our fish is gonna go. Gonna give this about three minutes to get this hot. Then we're grilling. When your grill is nice and hot, you bring your little friends over and on you go. We're gonna let them sit here. We're gonna go about five minutes aside. You'll see what it looks like. And when it gets there, I'm gonna show you how we turn them over so that you have turning over success as opposed to sticking the hell to the grill and it becoming a big pile of fish shit. But for now, I'll throw the lid on and let it do its thing. At almost the five minute mark, we look like that. Now here's the thing about cooking whole fish. If you put it on, when you go to move it, if it's stuck, just continue to let it cook. They release themselves when they're ready. It's kind of interesting. But the other thing that will help you will be a carving fork, especially a Sam the Cooking Guy one, lets you get underneath and gently lift. So if we try this first guy, let me just move this kid over a little bit. See how he moves? No problem. So now I don't, ah, apart from the smoke in my eyes, I don't really think I need the fork. That's what you want. That's what, see that crispiness. So now we'll just do it to this guy. Get back inside, green onion. We're full to your death. Take your pick, inside or death. Here we go. He pulled that out the last minute. Okay, over the coals. Second side never takes as long. We're gonna go about three and a half minutes and then we pull them and we're there. So I think I can comfortably come under, put our friends on here. They're gonna rest five minutes, loosely covered. Well, we make a little business to go on top. All right, it's, uh, so, not sauce, it's the business time. It's the time for the business that goes on top. The little uh, veggie thing. So off to the side, and here's what we put in it. Green onions, and we'll just slice these guys like this, and they will go in to our little bowl. Perfecto. Now we need some cilantro, and I think like uh, just a big rough cut. Some red hollands. In fact, they changed the name in the supermarket from red holland peppers to long red chilies. You could use a Fresno, you could use a red jalapeno, the colors, what's important, and a little heat. And these guys, we just wanna do the same thing, and we're gonna leave the seeds in like that, and the hell, this guy too, huh? Just a couple other things. A little baby amount of red onion. It's like a little salsa-esque kinda deal. Remember the lemon zest that we saved back? Well, this is it. And a good pinch of our BFF and a big junk of olive oil, like a nice olive oil. And this gets mixed. Oh, 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 oh. When you got that set, you know how good this is gonna be? Shit. Let's get our fish, plate her up. And it's time. Look how beautiful they are. But here's what we wanna do first. We wanna take out the inside, or as my friend Ken Lum would have said, mutt ya inside. So this comes out, oh, you've done your job, green onion. Beautiful this is. All right, now this guy, now we can get Max's plate and then come over with our little friend. Here we go like that. And then if it wasn't obvious, some of our little beautiful salad. Is it a salad? What is it? I think I called it a business too at one point. I'm not really sure what it is. All right, only thing left, a little drizzle of lemon juice. And that ladies and gentlemen is about as simple as it gets. 10 minutes of cooking time at the outside. Look at it, pretty. Telling you, you bring that to the table, people are gonna be like, whoa, wait a second. How'd you pull that off? Who made that for you? And you say, suck my dick, I made it. And now there's only one thing to do, eat. It helps to have a swivel plate. Thank you, Max. So if we look in, it's gentle, crispy skin. Look at it, it's this, this perfect white. That's how you know it's done. With this, with a little bite of this, and we bite. Boy, do we bite. There you go, beautiful white flesh. Flesh, beautiful cooked white, nice fish, some red onion and a little of that holland, some cilantro, and every time my manager Brad goes to an Italian restaurant, this one particular Italian restaurant in New York, he orders the Branzino. It's so good, I can only have it. I can't ever have anything else. Holy shit. Now I know why he's ordering the Branzino. It couldn't be better than this. This is light, there's tons of flavor. The, the garlic, business that we did and the inside, the outside, the whole, the whole thing, the thing, and the, the peppers and the, this crispy skin of the outside. And this is the collar, this little piece. So tender, the whole, it's juicy, it's gorgeous. We're there, we gotta go inside because the flies are coming. They know how damn amazing this is and they want it all. I want it all. All right, everybody, thanks for hanging out with us. Whatever you do, do not make the same thing all the time.